Okay, I have picked this one from Pinterest because I think it looks cute and I think I have enough yarn for that. And I don't know, it seems relatively easy. We can try and just make some cups. Uh, and then I can show you how you can maybe try that yourself to make it for your own size. We're gonna do the cups, they're gonna go sideways. And then we do some other rows to make those little thingies in the middle. Again, this is not my pattern. I just found this picture on Pinterest. I'll try and like put a screenshot here of like the person who posted it. And if anybody knows who the original creator is, please tell me in the comments. Yeah, but we're gonna try and make that top from scratch with no pattern. I just think it's really cute. And yeah, let's start. Start the cups. We're gonna make a chain that is lengthwise for your boob. So, and you should count the amount of chains you make for me. I think I'm gonna do about 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's a small chain. That should go from the side of your rib cage to like the middle of your boob. Yeah. Like thereabouts. <laughs> so it can go like from the side of your rib cage or the start of your side boob to the middle of your boob. And that's how it's gonna work. So we have our chain here and we're just gonna do a row of half double crochets along the chain. So yarn over, go into the chain space here and yarn over one more time and pull through. You should have three chains on your hook and then yarn over, pull through all three. Again, yarn over once, go through the chain, yarn over, there's three on your hook and then yarn over pull through all three so that's half double crochet and we're just gonna crochet to the end of the row and when we get there i will show you how we start the cup i mean if you already know how to do a cup just go ahead and make two and then you can skip to like the other part of the video where i attempt to make the top <clears throat> but yeah so we're just crocheting this way i'm using this acrylic yarn i mean i can just find one good oh, okay so we're at the last stitch of the row right we've done i don't know how many we've done i'll put a number there and then we since this is the last chain space here we're going to do three half double crochets into this one so one two and three so that's three in the last chain space and now you're going to turn over and you're going to do a half double crochet above in the chain space above the previous row half double crochet so you're going to yarn over so that's our last chain space so we're going to yarn over and it'll be here this little bit this little bit here so then you should have 14 or how many number of half double crochets you have need And that should be that should look something like this 
you should have something like this so it curves at where we did the three half double crochets over here and then we're going to start our next row so this is counted as one row with both sides crocheting around the foundation chain so yeah and now we're going to just chain one flip your work and we're going to do half double crochets again until we get to the three half double crochets and just go like normal into the chain spaces And then once you get to the three half double crochets, which I cannot see. Okay, once you get to the three half double crochets, you're going to do one half double crochet in the first one. And then the third one, which is the middle half double crochet, you're going to do three double crochets into, sorry, three half double crochets into the middle stitch one two three and then continue down with half double crochets for the rest of the row so that's essentially it on how to make the cups it's just that every row when you get to the three half double crochets the middle one you put another three half double crochets in there and that's how you make the cup so it will go and then it will get bigger and bigger. And then you can basically make a cup as big as you like to cover your boob. But yeah, that's basically it. And then I will see you when I'm done. I forgot to say just now that when you do your chain one, you should be half double crocheting into this first, very first stitch here. Because the chain one does not count as your first stitch. So you chain one, this is your chain one, and this is the first stitch here. So you have to go into this very first stitch. And yeah, so you just have to count and do it properly. And at the end of everything, I'll show you, it should all be more or less straight. This is just my, because I pulled this a lot, but. It should be a straight line pretty much so everything is aligned properly so everything is aligned properly and that's because I did the chain one and then see if you see here oh this is chain one and then I have double crochet shade into the very first stitch so that's how you get them clean edges I'm out of my first scrap but she's getting there you see, we're done with, almost done with the cup. I think I'll do a few more rows. And then you're just going to do the same thing for the other side. I think that's a good size that we have. It goes like that. But because it's a stretchy yarn, it will be pulled to the middle. So let's see how many rows I did. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did nine rows. If you have bigger boobs than me, you probably do. You will definitely do more rows, but don't worry. It will adjust according to your size since you did the chain according to your body size. So, yeah. Um, and then you just do how many rows you like, you think that will look up. You just do however many rows you think you need that you would like to cover. And... I mean, I think it's enough, but maybe I'll just make it 10 to make it even. And then, because this, my arm is quite stretchy, right? So I'll pretty much cover it. Because we're going to be attaching it to the other side and having another cup. Kind of pull it a little bit. Yeah, okay. Then when you're done with that, count the number of rows you have and then make the other cup, which is what I'm going to do now. 15 chains 
gonna do 15 chains again. One, two, oh, that's very small. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yarn over, go in the stitch, and you are starting a half double crochet again. Okay, we're done with the two cups, so now I'm going to. In the picture, it shows that they're attached here at the very corner, at the very tip, but I'm just going to keep crocheting because I don't want to cut off my yarn. And so what I'm going to do is do some double crochets and then do a chain at this part and then continue with the double crochet and then we're going to keep going from there. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to start with a chain two at the end of this bra cup and we're going to turn our work. And we're going to do double crochets. So let's yarn over once. Go through. Yarn over, you have three. And then yarn over, go through two. And then yarn over, go through two. So we're going to do that for the majority of the cup. And we're going to stop when it's two half double crochets before the three half double crochets. Okay, so now we've done some double crochets along the cup. And we are two double crochets. Two half double crochets from the middle. I'm going to do one last double crochet. And that leaves us with one half double crochet before the three. And I'm going to do chain three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to get my second cup here. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet into the second. Sorry, a double crochet into the half double crochet here. So it'll be in this. So there's the three, there's the first half double crochet, and then the second half double crochet. So we're going to go into here. So I'm going to yarn over. And then I'm going to go into that. Then at the end, I'll just do a slip stitch to attach the two cups together, but I think that's how it works. And then I'm going to just continue down this cup with double crochets. And then I will meet you at the end of this cup here. Okay, now I have two double crochets left. So I'm just going to finish that off here. And then we're going to do our next row with chain two. So one, two, slip the cup, and we're going to do another row of double crochets. And this time we're going to stop maybe again with skipping with the last two double crochets here. So we're going to crochet do double crochets until this one, until the third last double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to finish up with my last double crochet here, and I'm going to, um, these, these are three, so we'll do a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we should be, make sure that cups are aligned and we should be attaching here at the third double crochet so we're gonna yarn over go into this chain space here and do a double crochet and then continue the row with double crochets so look something like that
Okay, so that seems to be the general pattern where we just do double crochets along here. Come back round for the next row. Skip two. And then every time you do the chain, it's plus two. So this is three. This is five. The next row will be seven. And with every row, you always skip the two first double crochets here. So... I will show you again and at the beginning of every row we're just going to start with a chain two turn and then we're going to do a double crochet so again with this row we're coming up to the chain spaces here we're just going to do one last double crochet and for this row so every row we're gonna skip the first two sorry we're gonna skip the last two double crochets chain with two more additional chains than the previous row and then skip the first two double crochets of the next side and then chain do a double crochet into this space so for this row we're gonna do seven chains Okay, so one, and then we're gonna attach, do a double crochet into the other side. So here. And then we continue our row of double crochets. So yeah, I think that's the pattern. And we're gonna try that out and there's eight rows of the chains so you just do this i think five more rows and then i will meet you back there so continuing from the last row that we did we're gonna do a chain that goes around your waist and so see i continue the chain from the last double crochet here so i just did a chain all the way around attached it to the other side and what I did was slip stitch three times going upward on the length of the top. And then I did double crochets in every stitch of the chain. And we're just going to do a few rows to make it like a little backless top. So when you come to the end of your double crochet rows, you're going to do your last double crochet. And what we're going to do is slip stitch it to the side of the cup so that it's going to end up in a straight row so we're going to slip stitch right here that's one slip stitch so that it's a straight line now and we're going to do it two more times up the side of the cup to start the next row and we're going to turn our work and then simply you're just going to do a double crochet right on top of the last double crochet and that's how you start and end your the back of the top and because i want it to be a little backless piece i'm going to do just a few rows of double crochet maybe until the second row of double crochet from the front so just about that much so now i just quite like the fit and it's going really well so i'm going to continue the rows of those double crochets up the back and we're just gonna enjoy the sunshine i was listening to private eyes here but obviously i can't play it because of copyright reasons but yeah we're just gonna keep crocheting throwing sticks enjoying the spring weather and i'll see you when i finish the back also really digging this purple it's actually such a pretty color and it's so vibrant as well and i mean i made something like this that was the set that I made, and this is like the leftover bit of it. Um, yeah, and I think like it's quite cool that crochet is very unique to everybody on their own. You get to pick the colors you like, you get to pick the style you like, and the cuts and everything. And oh, it's just so much fun. So if you're here or you're starting out crochet, props to you for trying something new. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Um, and trusting me to teach you. It's probably not correct, but it works out for me. But yeah, do your research and, I mean, you know, have fun with it.
It's like seriously just so much fun. Okay, fine. <laughs> so I'm satisfied with this length. It's about okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rows of double crochet. And now what we're going to do is let's see. This is the cup. The, well, the side of the cup we're gonna do some single crochets all the way up to the top corner here so single crochet is just going through the side here yarning over once and then going through both of the chains on your hook so that's a single crochet and we're gonna do that in every stitch along the side of the cup and then i'll see you at the top the top now here we're going to continue doing single crochets all the way down here and so this should be the tip of the cup so remember you did the final one two three stitches in here the three stitch of the half double crochet in the tip of the cup so in the second stitch the middle stitch here that's one, that's two, that's three. So in the second one, we're going to do a slip stitch to the other side of the second one. So in the chain space there, and then continue single crocheting down this way, and then single crocheting all the way till we get back to the double crochets of the back. So we're coming up to the tip of the cup. We're going to do our single crochets here. And then one last one before we get to this is the, the the second chain space of the three. Yeah, can you see one, two, three? So in this chain space, we're going to go through and then we're going to get the other side of our cup. So here, one, two, three. So into the second chain space. Hold on, I'll get it focused for you. Uh, into the second chain space, we're going to do a slip stitch. So it should be the second half double crochet in those three, and the second half double crochet on this side, and make sure your cups are facing the same side, and we're just going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over, go through the first space, and then yarn over the second cup, and we're going to slip it through here. Okay, so now it's attached. Yay! And then we're going to continue up this side with our single crochets. So here, this was the, the third half double crochet in those three of the tip of the cup. And then we're going to continue up with single crochets. All the way up the top of the cup down the side and back to the back with the double crochets so we're here at the end of the cup and now we're just going to slip stitch to this little space here between the double crochet and the cup space so you can just slip stitch right here and pull that tight and then you can go ahead and cut off this tail so this is what it looks like I think we got the concept down quite all right and now i'm gonna make some straps to attach the back which is here um okay if you need more support for them girls you can do a halter top which is basically you just make two straps on this end so you can tie them up here but i think i'm gonna make it like the picture and put it all the way around and attach it at the back but you can also do a halter top or a self-tie top at the top if you need, you know, these to be pulled up and more support. So yeah. Hey, I'm back. Today is like the fifth day or something. I don't know. I'm doing this really slow, but I finished one sleeve. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to do the other one and I will show you how I did that. So we're going to take the yarn do a little slip knot and we're gonna go into the top of the cup here so this is the top corner of the cup here I'm just gonna put and this is the inside of the, the piece 
And so I'm just gonna take my yarn here, go into the slip knot, and then go into the top corner of the crochet of the cup. <clears throat> I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then we're just going to chain long enough that it will go over your shoulder and to the back of the crochet piece. So for me, I did 35 chains. So I'm going to do that right now. And you can also crochet and make a chain however long you need according to your arm size. And then just measure it and um, see it against your whole body. So I'll show you that right now. So. So I'm going to go in with a slip stitch, slip stitch it there, and then I'm going to turn it so that I'm working from the inside of the crochet piece. I'm just going to do one slip stitch. So I slip, slip stitch the chain to this one. I'm going to slip stitch again this way. So one more slip stitch. And then so from the back again you're gonna come out this side and then i'm gonna start doing um some half double crochets we're almost done I say that the original top that I was inspired by probably uses thicker yarn than this and it, I think it uses like a chunky yarn and a bigger hook as well and that's why it's like thicker but this is obviously thinner I'm just like trying to copy the pattern but I think it will still turn out nice so like let's just finish up this chain So we're just going to slip stitch it here and then so when a slip stitch is going to come out in a straight line. So let's just do that. Where are we? Into the chain here. And then I'm going to pull this off and that will be our strap. So that's how you do the strap. Obviously we're going to weave in these ends and make them a little nicer. So yeah, and then that's the top done and I'll show you that. Give it like a mid try right now. I, I didn't really weave in the ends properly, but we'll see how that goes. Okay! Okay, sorry about my t-shirt. We're going to just see if I need to make any adjustments. Can you see the whole thing now? Oh, I think it turned out quite nice. I think it's a bit loose because this yarn is a bit stretchy. So it's, it stretches like a little bit more than the chain and I should have like reduced it a bit, but it's okay. I think it's still like a little layering piece maybe. Obviously not on my black shirt, but it turned out quite nice. This is higher than my boobs are right now. So I gotta pull it down. Actually, if it was a bit tighter, then it's not too bad, but see, cause it's a bit gappy, but that's just cause this yarn is stretchy. But you know what? I think it turned out pretty cute. Like the inspiration pick. This is the inspiration pick and this is the final product. Yeah, so I mean if you want to make this top properly, I would just suggest using thicker yarn and a bigger hook. But I'm using a 4.5 and acrylic skinny yarn. Yeah, I think it's kind of cute. I think it works. I think it does. Yeah. Okay, I'll like change and then we can see. Okay, I've changed. This is how I it looks. I think it turned out pretty cute. It's simple. If you want to do something fancier, please go ahead. But yeah, it's cute. It needs to be tighter for me, but I think it worked out right. Bye. Thank you for watching me crochet this top. I hope you enjoyed and tag me if you make your own. I'd love to see it and have a good day ahead. Bye!